Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to introduce the new glow effect enhancements with iClone 7.2 as compared to other versions. So with 7.2 we've been made a number of different improvements and I'm going to kind of walk you through those as we go along here. So the project I'm using right now, if you go up to your project tab, you can go to uh, project and the number three morph folder here. I'm using this character morph project if you want to kind of follow along here. And if I scrub through the timeline you can see what's happening here. We got this guy, uh, you know, flexing his biceps. It's supposed to be demonstrating the uh, the morph uh, feature actually with the character mesh, but uh, I'm using it for the for the glow map here. You can see on his body right there as he flexes his bicep right there. Okay, so let's take a look at what is causing this effect. It's actually a glow map. Um, so what I'm going to do is just select the character and press the B hotkey to use my picker tool and select my character's skin uh, on the body. Go over here to materials. You can see skin body is selected, and if we go a little bit further down you can see we have a glow map right here uh, as part of our character's body. And you can adjust the strength of this glow map uh, down here to make it go away and go up like this. All right, so that's uh, adjusting the strength. Let's take a quick look at this glow map uh, itself. I'm going to go ahead and launch it in Photoshop. And once it launches in Photoshop, we'll be able to see that, uh, in fact, we have a number of different kind of cool lightning vein type thingies that are on the arms and, and the torso and stuff here. If I uh, load up the uh, character's... Uh, body uh, base color here as well you can compare it to that so this is where the uh, effects are happening on the uh, character the glow map is on the arms and the uh, chest area all right so that's all we really need to know uh, hopefully that's clear for you guys we'll just close uh, photoshop down now now one of the major improvements that we've made with the uh, glow map is uh, the we've uh, prevented it from fading as, as you get further away from the uh, camera so let's go take a look at that i'm going to go uh, actually back to this frame here this is a fine frame a dandy frame right here. Let's switch to our uh, preview camera and you can see when we go close to the character like this um, you know the, the glow map is you know a little bit blurry it's not as detailed as we'd like but it's still pretty good and again this is 7.1 we're, uh, we're looking at right now but if as we uh, zoom out further away you can see it slowly fades until it almost becomes part of the torso there so that's not very effective from a distance like this so this is 7.1 and 7.0 as well Okay, so previous to 7.2, uh, the glow maps would have this issue as we move further away from the character. But I'm going to go ahead and close down 7.1, and we're going to go to uh, load up 7.2 here, same project, and let's go to this frame right here. And you'll notice right away that the uh, glow map is a lot more detailed on our character's body. So it's a lot sharper and more detailed, which is pretty cool. I'll select our character here and uh, select his uh, body mesh there, uh, skin body. You can see we have the same glow map and everything like that. Over this time, if we uh, switch to our preview mode and go further away, you can see the further away we get, we still have the sharp detail of the glow map on the character's body. So this is a uh, marked improvement of, uh, of 7.2 over previous versions. And here you can see the side-by-side -side comparison in case you're interested, uh, 7.2 versus uh, previous versions with the uh, dude flexing his muscles. And in addition to that, we have this image right here with a, uh, the robot, our icon, uh, dinosaur, whatever robot it is. And you can see the, uh, glowing on the armor is a lot more, uh, faded on the left hand side in 7.0. And it's a lot sharper and more detailed on 7.2 on the right hand side. So with the glow maps, you can find a bunch of glow maps online. If you just go to glow, type glow effect into, uh, into Google Chrome here under image search. Uh, Google image search rather there's a number of different glow maps you can that you can bring up here uh, now they're obviously they're not as detailed as the one I've just shown you in the previous example but uh, these are just uh, quick examples of glow maps that you can apply to your character uh, or your or your prop or whatever texture you have and I'll show you how to do that in the next example uh, here's a exa good example of glow armor that I've uh, you know just typed in glow armor in Google image search and came up with this so you can use the you can use the uh, glow effect in a number of different scenarios, whether it be, you know, uh, creating an eth ethereal type of glow on a, on a magical ball or a robotic sci-fi armor, uh, the glow maps can come in really in handy in a lot of different uh, ways. Okay, so here's the, uh, the glow right there. And we're going to talk about neon in just a moment here. Uh, we're going to, you can see there's a number of different uh, neon signs here. So that's the next example that I'm going to come up with. So let's just close down Chrome right now. And keep in mind as well that when you have your glow effect uh, happening, if you want to enable global illumination, uh, the global, the glow effect will actually create, uh, will actually emit a, a, a light if you use global illumination here. So if we enable global illumination and enable it in the viewport uh, as well, viewport GI, you can see that, uh, our character actually 
the global illumination has an effect on the character's body as well as that glow map gets stronger it'll create more of a strength on the uh, body like that there will be stronger balance and everything so you can see the effect right there okay so like this is a good example right here like like that so there's the you know really strong effect and we've also actually increased the amount of global illumination uh, balance on this we'll talk about that after we get to the next example here so what i'm going to do is go to the next example it's in my custom tab here i have a, a custom tutorial folder here uh, glow enhance and i'm going to now introduce you to the new glow settings in uh, uh, 7.2 so you can see we have this cool looking uh, neon pipe right here and uh, if you want to uh, select the, the pipe right here we can go over here to materials and it actually has this uh, glow map currently set up here and you can adjust the values of the glow map which we'll do in uh, just a moment here uh, so if I go ahead and I can delete that glow map you can see that all we have is just this you know uh, regular glass uh, pipe thing uh, cylinder whatever you want to call it and uh, there's nothing on it However, we can just go double click on our glow channel right here and you can add a separate glow map from our, our default uh, iClone glow maps. But I have a special one prepared. I'm going to go over here to my Explorer folder. Just a nice gradient from red to blue, uh, left to right here. I'm going to click and drag that onto my glow channel. And boom, you can see this is the example that we had before. Now let's take a quick look at the new glow settings in 7.2. So you're going to uh, find these by going up to uh, Edit here and Project Settings. You can also use Control, Shift, and P, the hotkey. All right, and there'll be a section down here for uh, glow settings. So all we need to do is just uh, click on glow settings. And here it'll come up with a number of different uh, uh, glow settings, I guess. You could say glow parameters. Now I'm going to take all these down to zero. And we're going to start from the uh, smallest one here. Okay, so you can see these are, these are global effects. You cannot animate these. These are global throughout the entire duration of your project. So keep that in mind. Okay, so first of all, we have the base glow. If we take that all the way up, you can see the base glow is the closest to the actual object. So it's very sharp. It's a very sharp glow. And it's very close to the uh, the original shape of the object. I'll take that down. And then we have the smallest spread strength. So this one you can see a little bit more of a halo extending out from the original structure of our of our prop there. And so on and so forth. With the small spread strength, you can see this one glows. This one's even further out. Okay, so what you can do is you, you can kind of guess the pattern here. The medium strength goes a little bit even further out. And then obviously the large strength one goes the furthest out like this, okay? So you can basically combine these one by one, uh, you know, adjust your own values. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select default here. So this is the default value here. And again, you can, you know, extend the, uh, the range of our glow if you want using the large spread strength. And you can enhance all these as well. So if you take the base glow and enhance it uh, to the maximum level, I mean, the number of uh, the maximum value for a pixel is 255, 255 by 255. So for the base, that's going to be completely white. However, you, uh, as you as you get further out, the glow will kind of fade off into the original color a little bit more. Okay. So again, those are you know fairly fairly simple examples there. And uh, if we want to, uh, let's close down our project settings here. If we want to further you know enhance this or you know modify this, we can go over here to our adjust color uh, panel open that up and a cool thing we can do here is adjust the hue so you can see we have some you know really cool effects like this um, just circling this hue kind of circling and the global illumination on the back wall there is changing colors as well so a pretty cool effect you can uh, achieve but just by adjusting the hue right here as well so here's a quick video just to kind of show you the effects uh, in more detail here. We have the base glow and then if we add in the smallest spread strength, if we kind of combine that with the base glow, you'll see it'll kind of stretch out a little bit more. This is just a quick example showing you, you know, overlaying all these glow effects on top of each other as we get further out. I know it's fairly straightforward, but here comes the medium uh, spread strength as well. You can see it gets larger and larger, uh, the range of our glow. And then finally we have the large spread strengths. So all those combined together create this, uh, you know, combined cool glow effect. So with 7.2 you have much more control over the duration and strength of your glow effects. So next let's talk a little bit about the glow and global illumination animation. So I'm going to go ahead and load in this glow effect demo right now, the uh, same one that we previously had. And let's take a closer look at the timeline. So I'm going to go back to that frame where he's, you know, flexing his bicep there, a massive looking bicep. All right, so let's select our character and uh, press F3 and go into the timeline here. So if we uh, press the B hotkey and select our character skin, and we go over here to materials, let's take a look at the materials. So 
I'm going to just zoom out of my timeline really quick here. And you can see there's a number of different keyframes here under materials. If we twirl that down, you can see they're all under the texture strength. All right, so let's take a look at the material and the glow map, glow channel right here, and the strength slider. So take a look at the strength slider as I scrub through the timeline. You'll see it'll go from, you know, from this frame to or this keyframe to this keyframe. We'll go from 0 to 100. So it'll be like this, 0 to 100. And here's where you can, you know, modify the timing and strength of all these different keyframes. So here it's around 57. Between here and here, it's kind of toning down a little bit. And then, you know, he flexes his bicep and it goes back up to 100. Just like that. Okay, so that's the animation for the texture strength. You can adjust the, the strength at various intervals here to achieve that. And you can fully manipulate it using this track, this texture, track, uh, texture strength track and the timeline. Now, we also have the, uh, the ability to uh, adjust the global illumination as well. So this one, we want to go ahead and enable uh, global illumination here again. And you can see the slight difference that makes right there. This part in particular makes a big difference. So let's go ahead and load in the track for global illumination. And this one can actually be found not in uh, Zane's uh, tracks here, but we have to go over here to our project uh, track menu list. And here is GI control. So under GI control, when we load that up, you can see we have the GI strength uh, keyframes right here. So you can see from here to here, let's take over here to our visual tab and go down a little bit further uh, to our, uh, or is it further up? Nope, it's this one over here. So we go to global illumination and here we have the bounce strength. So the bounce strength can be animated and we'll talk more about this uh, later on, but uh, you can see here, take a look at the bounce strength from this keyframe to this keyframe and take a look at the effect that it has in his body. So we get that really, you know, lit up uh, body type right there. And again, all these keyframes can be manipulated and the bounce strength is in, in uh, green text, which means it can be keyframed. Uh, the strength uh, slider right there, just like the strength slider on the glow map. All right, and there's his uh, arm, and the bounce strength is you know still pretty low at this point here. It just goes up a little bit to three. You know, we could take that up if we wanted to further enhance it, and you can see the result right there. All right, so that's all about it. Uh, that's about all there is to it. I just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to the new glow effect uh, features, the improvements we've made to the glow effect, and also the ability to uh, to keyframe and modify the glow effect uh, you know throughout your timeline is in combination with the global illumination and all that fun stuff so thank you so much for watching again make, uh, hopefully you learned a lot and make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and our other videos on our youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video